Hello Libra and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, I feel like um, there's been a masculine energy here who um, hasn't been wanting to confront the things that they've done. They, ha they just keep doing stuff and um, putting, putting off doing the right thing or not being honest, you know, they've got a lot, I feel like they've done, um, that they didn't want to take accountability for. They didn't want to take responsibility for these things. They just didn't want to look at it. They weren't really doing their work, just carrying the burdens, right? One right after the next. This person could be in bad health right now, even, but I feel with the coming out in reverse with the wheel of fortune and the sun, I feel like this person's having an awakening. Um, what it what it feels like to me is just a complete flip of their energy, and um, I feel like they're they, this is somebody who's learning their spirituality here is really what I'm getting. I feel like um, this is somebody who you know they were juggling juggling people, walked away from a lot of um, love situations here, could have had third parties, you know that kind of thing. I feel like now they want to just walk away from from the stagnancy in their life because spiritual spiritual jail isn't fun. You can't move. You can't move forward. You don't want to move backward because you don't. This person didn't want to take accountability. Um, you can't move laterally, right? Side by side, you can't do anything, right? So I, I feel like this person's just been stuck. And they realize it, and it's they realize I I feel it's all because of um, them juggling other people, juggling things that having a hard time getting their balance in life, that kind of thing. And with a turn of a wheel, now this could be coming up to on Lionsgate, which is um, August eighth, right? I really feel like with a turn of a wheel, this person is all, all of a sudden they're enlightened and they're, they're researching their spirituality. They're researching Lionsgate portal. They're researching all of this stuff. And I feel like, I feel like they're surrendering here to the path. To be honest with you, I feel like they're surrendering. That's the feeling I'm getting off of this page of pentacles. I know. Um, but that's how I'm reading it. They are surrendering, I feel, to a spiritual path. Um, and I feel like you're going to hear from this person. I saw the, the eight of wands. I feel like they're realizing they can't stay in this position anymore. Um, they're, they're being enlightened here. Okay. Um, yeah. And I feel like they're finally, they're getting ready to talk. You may hear from this person, but to me, that it just it's giving me the surrender vibe. Surrender to the universe here and start um, researching your spirituality. Start opening your mind. Start having an enlightenment, right? That's really the feeling that I'm getting here. And I feel like that's what this person is doing. Um, I feel like they've stood on a possible decision to make. Whether it comes to love or just what direction to take in their own life here. And um, they've been putting it off and putting it off like kind of standing here lost, maybe waiting for opportunities to come in. But as long as they keep living a life with no accountability of their actions, these ships can't come in. And I feel like if they were waiting to hear from you, if this is a love reading... I feel like it's a spiritual reading, but if this is a love reading, they're not going to hear from you. So I feel like this person is, um, if it's love, if they're ready to reach out, you're, you're going to hear from this person. But I, I really feel like um, this, is the, this is the divine saying that they're putting in the work. They're putting in the effort. Um, to learn the, uh, that's and I feel like they're I saw the ace of cups on the bottom of the deck I guys if it's a love reading it's it's great this person is still they they want to come forward and talk to you this is part of their spirituality right you could be a divine feminine they're having an awakening not just with their own spirituality 
but the things that they have to do to make right for all of the crap that they did in the past, okay? So they could be coming towards you. You may hear from this person. <laughs> and I feel like, I feel like you, person watching, collective, you've already made it to your spiritual, your spirituality. You're sitting in the high priestess energy like, when are they going to learn, right? That kind of thing, you know? When are they going to learn? I'm just going to keep quiet, be silent, be still until this person, you know, but I feel like this is somebody who never came towards you. Maybe they had a lot of secrets because they were with somebody toxic in the past. They were in some kind of devil energy. Now, it doesn't have to be a relationship or a karmic. They could have had obsessions, addictions, okay? Um, any, any kind of addiction or anything they do too much of that's toxic. So they were, they've been in this energy, and you've been like, I'm going to be silent, right? I'm going to be absolutely silent and still and use my intuition because I feel like you have an understanding of the journey here because, uh, honestly, uh, I can see that, um, that you've also grown. You know, you've changed. This journey has changed you, and I feel like now it's changing this person. Um, they could be watching you because... You're keeping your moves hidden. You're, you've blocked out their energy. You're not talking to them. You're not talking to anybody. You're not saying anything. So this person could be watching you, but I do feel strongly an awakening from this person. Now wanting to, I feel like in a way they want to know what you know. Okay, does that make sense? They want to know what you know. And I really get the vibes of somebody surrendering to this, to this path trying to walk away from this toxic energy. Um, and that's one of the reasons why you haven't been talking to this person, you know. But, yeah, I'm seeing this as um, it's, a, it's an eye-opener for this person. It was an eye-opener for me, too, <laughs> when I pulled everything out. Um, yeah, I feel like this person needs to be honest. Thank you. I feel like they need to be honest. Um, they need to start showing and, and telling people how they feel on the inside. I feel like they've, they've, they've been in some kind of toxicity and um, not showing you or telling you how they feel about you or anything. They could be all up in their emotions right now, but I feel like they've got to get everything out into the open here. And, and I feel like for... With, you know, withholding love, right, and the truth and their spirituality in this big cup here, not feeling wishy-washy, right, not wanting to dip their toe in, wanting to remain um, in toxic energy, this person's been under judgment. And you know it because you're connected, very connected to the divine. I feel like you already know this person, they just weren't ready to come forward to, towards you yet. And I feel like they, they still really aren't. This is somebody um, who's just now realizing their, their own spirituality. They're getting messages. They're just now surrendering. Um, yeah, see, now, see, before, they, they couldn't, um, they didn't want to confront all of this. They didn't want to take accountability. They didn't want to take responsibility for the things that they've done. I feel like the stress may have even caused some health issues. Now they're picking up these burdens and they're laying them to rest. Um, so they may want to come forward and try to make it right, I got to say. Um, just because I'm feeling that they need to release. They need to do the right thing before, before the closing of the cycle. I feel like you're a divine feminine and this is a divine, a potential divine masculine, right? who's really screwed up and didn't want to face the facts and didn't want to face it, okay? They, they didn't want to feel like a fool. They didn't want to tuck their tail between their legs. They didn't want to admit when they were wrong, that kind of thing. They just wanted to keep doing whatever lifestyle they were doing, okay? Um, but you being a spiritual being, I feel like um, you, you already know with your intuition being so lit, you already know what this person has been through, what they're doing, you know. And I feel like um, 
you realize it's going to take this person a while, you know, to fully understand what kind of journey they're actually on. Um, yeah, so this person, you, you know, I, I'm seeing them wanting to put the burdens down and they're praying. Look at this. They're praying. They want to put the burdens to rest. And here they are laying here praying. I'm telling you, this person is, even though they're waking up to everything, they still may not be quite ready to come towards you yet. You're in high priestess energy. And, you know, they're over here in the Ten of Wands, right? Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands energy. Um, I feel like they want to come forward to you. Uh, they could be wrapped up with a karmic here, but um, I really feel like either they're getting a message from, from somebody um, to come forward, you know, and reunite with you, or they want to come forward and there's somebody standing in their way. I, I get the feeling like this is a karmic, right? But this person, they realize that they want to get back together with you here. If they were with somebody else, it's it, there was no love in it, no love. They're with a page of swords, somebody who's very immature, possible even like um, mental issues here, maybe. With all, they're just really watching this person like a hawk, wanting to come forward. And your person, that you know, they're in a lot of regret. They're standing here in the middle between the two of cups, your soulmate connection, and this other one where it all, it all, all of it is is blood and sand. There's no love in those cups. <clears throat> and they're very emotional here because they're having an awakening. I think before they didn't really care all that much, you know, doing whatever they wanted, getting away with stuff, not confronting things in a toxic situation, you know, whatever lifestyle they had. But now with the sun out here and the wheel of fortune turning, um, this, is an, this is an awakening that they're actually researching here. And they're realizing um, just, you know, just how bad their decision making was, how bad their actions were. I feel like towards you, you um, haven't even been paying attention to this person. You're, you're focused on a new beginning for yourself. You're not going to waste any more time sitting here waiting for this person to have their awakening. I feel like you've made a decision to step out of the situation, pull your energy back and detach. And, um, and, yeah, you're not speaking to this person because you're not playing any games. You're not going to be playing with the devil, okay? You're not going to put up with this toxic lifestyle or a karmic individual. You're not going to be put in third-party situations where you have to wait forever. No. You know why? Because you're a high priestess, you're connected to the divine, you're being spiritually led, and you know better than that. I feel like you've learned the lesson here, and you just don't want any more of it. You could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, um, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, I feel like you're putting yourself out there. You're looking for new love now. You're looking for new love now. And now this person, seeing the error of their ways, right, researching their own spirituality here, realizing um, why would you wait for them when you've already, already been patient long enough. Um, they're sitting here like, what do I do? Okay, um, sleepless nights. This is somebody who can't eat, can't sleep. Put yourself on the side of the coin where you belong, right? If you've been sleeping like a baby, then this is your person's energy, right? Because they're not. They're not. They're having tower moment after tower moment because you're moving forward. And, and they know that they followed the wrong person straight out into the, the cold, possibly an impoverished. Like, look at where this lifestyle with the devil has gotten them. They're having to take a look at this. And the worst part about this card is the fugly bedspread, right? I'd cry too if I had to have that bedspread. <laughs> but this is patterns, patterns of their own behavior that they're having to take a look at. They're having to confront it. If they don't confront the things that they've done in the past to the people they've done it to, 
the the divine is showing them that you're not going to get away with it. We'll have you think about it all night and stress out over it, but you're going to take a look at the things you've done. That's what the divine is saying. So this person's literally at night. They have tower moment after tower moment after tower moment because you're moving forward, um, putting yourself out there and manifesting new love. You're out here having a victory. You could be in the public eye. You're gorgeous. You're a healer, an empath, extremely intuitive. You guys could even um, be another tarot card reader on YouTube, okay? They could have gotten a tarot card reading, but I feel like this is your energy here. Cutting this person out. Wherever they're getting this information, because they are watching and looking into it somehow. So I feel like this person could be watching tarot readers, okay? Or getting readings. And if they are, they're being told the same thing. You're moving forward, and a new blessing and love is going to come in. And that just sends this person into a depression, anxiety. Um, yeah, because they can't stand the thought of you being with somebody else. They can't stand the thought of you having a passionate new beginning with anybody else. But they've got to... They've got to confront. They've got to do the right thing. They're seeing that clearly now. And, um, yeah, I feel like they're getting messages from the divine that's telling them this stuff somehow. Somehow they could be watching a lot of readings, okay, or paying good money for it. Um, yeah, now they, they know it's taken them way too long to come forward and make this right. But I feel like... With the turn of that wheel on Lionsgate Portal, they're being told, if you don't make things right and apologize, you are going to be accumulating heavy karma because you screwed over a divine feminine who is an earth angel, right? And you can't come into this new portal through the Lionsgate Portal if you're, if you're carrying, dragging behind you heavy, heavy karma. So you've got to come in and do the right thing, and apologize, and try to make things right um, before the Lionsgate portal. And I feel like that's what they're fi that's what they're finding out. So this person, you could hear from this person soon to make it right. Um, you know, I'm not saying that they're going to come in and try to reunite, but I do see this person coming in to try to apologize. I, I get the feeling like they're still with a karmic individual and they're coming in a bit prematurely, but they already know that. And I feel, I don't feel like an actual love offer right now. I feel them just, just wanting to make it right after a long wait period for this, okay? They're very guarded. They know what they did to you. They know how they've been to you. Okay, and I feel like this person is afraid. This, that's what's taking them so long. They're, they're afraid, but also they've been wrapped up with the devil. Okay, a toxic, either a toxic connection or a toxic lifestyle. Take it however it resonates with you. Yeah, they have to come and approach, and this is another reason why they're so nervous. Ooh, what was that? Somebody's calling me. I'm sorry, my phone's upstairs. But this is, that could be a good confirmation. This person, as they approach you, they know they're coming towards an earth angel. Why? Because they've been getting messages from the divine. They're surrendering to those messages. They're researching this stuff. And they realize, in fact, you were a blessing in love. You're a star. You're a high priestess. You're an earth angel. Divine feminine. Okay, so that, that's why they're guarded. Okay, that's why. But they are moving towards you. Yeah, you're a divine feminine. What did I say? What did I say? <laughs> Thank you, divine. Yes, you could be a, a Sagittarius, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer, heavy on the Cancer here with the chariot. This person could be a Virgo or um, maybe even um Capricorn. Sorry. I don't know what took me so long on that one. Capricorn, I've got Scorpio out here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They could already be with um, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. 
who's watching them and trying to stop them from coming forward. But this person knows. They know they need to make it right with you. I feel like even if you don't accept an offer from this person, they still have to come in collective and try to make it right. We're all tested. We all have a lesson to learn. And this, this person, like, it's kind of like, and not that this person is an alcoholic, but I'm thinking of it as like a 12-step program in Alcoholics Anonymous, okay? I don't think this person's an alcoholic. I don't see them doing any drinking. But, <clears throat> and they need to come and do the right thing. That's part of the 12-step, okay? Is to go and make it right with other people. And no, that, I, that's not my experience. I don't drink, but... Um, I just know that that's part of the program. So I feel like that's kind of what this is. In order to graduate that program, right, this program, okay, the universe, the universal energies and what the divine wants, this person needs to come and make it right with the people that they screwed over. And you're one of them. And if they don't, you know the heavy, heavy karma that a person can get just for lying to an earth angel, just for misjudging an earth angel. It's a heavy, look at it as like a heavy rock that they have to drag behind them. That's heavy karma on anybody when they mess with the divine feminine. So this person, I feel like they're being told by someone, maybe, like I said, they could be getting other tarot card reading, readings. And the reader's sort of telling them the same thing, or they picked up on it from somewhere, that you need to be light when you step into this portal. Because this Lionsgate portal, it's about deciding a path, right? Choosing a path, like uh, making a clear decision. It's about manifesting what you want in the new cycle. And if you, bring, if you try to drag that heavy karma into the new cycle one if they can get that weight through the door they're bringing it with them into the new cycle okay and i feel like the divine is like dude you got to do the cleanup now before this portal closes right because i feel like they're gonna they're showing me the weighing of the heart with the feather and the heart and you can't pass through this portal unless you're light you can't bring all this car this karma with you that's why they're being told you know they could have a lot of people that they maybe screwed over in the past and they're being told they need to make it right with everybody okay especially you an earth angel yes they have to make it right with you the karma the heaviness of the karma that they will get for not making this right it's not going to allow them to have that fresh start, you know, the freshness of the new cycle, okay? They will remain in this kind of energy, tower moment after tower moment, you know, continuing to lose things in their life, right? Um, here it is. Suffering, uh, suffering losses, right? Because they're tied to the devil energy. Because they did, if they don't take it, pick up all these burdens and make things right one at a time, especially with you, collective Earth Angel energy, they've got to not accumulate that karma. They've got to get rid of the of the karma they've accumulated by screwing you over before this Lionsgate portal. Okay, the cycle, the old cycle's closed. The new cycle has just begun. These cycles can last up to 35 years. And that's the kind of time that this person would be looking at in spiritual jail if they don't clean up their act and do the right thing. Okay, and you're like sitting over here keeping your mouth shut because you already know this stuff. <laughs> you already know. So I know I'm talking to divine feminines out here, masculines. It doesn't matter. It's not gender specific. So, yeah, you're just keeping quiet because your job right now is to be silent and still. And these people have their own tests to take. They have their own exams to pass. They've got their own lessons to learn. And that's been your understanding in this the whole time through this whole journey. Now we've made it to exam day. 
what is this person going to do? What are they going to do? You know, that's what they're laying here thinking. Like, they know they've got to make this right. They know they have to atone for all of these fugly um, patterns in their life, right? And I, I do see them approaching an earth angel here to try to make things right. I'm not saying they're going to give you a love offer because, you know what, if they're trying to clean up their karma and they're still with a toxic individual, they can't give you a love offer right now. It's just going to accumulate karma. Do you see what I'm saying? I feel like this person isn't quite ready to give you a love offer yet, even though they freaking want to. Even though they want to. You know, this person could have even offered their love to a page of swords, and they could have even gotten married. I'm seeing that right now. I feel like there's a page of swords who's block, trying to block this person from coming forward with an apology. But this person, they, that's another test. They need to take a stand. They need to take a stand, tell the truth, right? And say they're sorry. Yeah. Before that portal. Yeah, I feel like um, they, were, they were very immature. They were giving to other people. I feel like they were already in a commitment um, now all they can think about is you and what they did. This is somebody who is feeling the shame. They're feel, they're, it's shameful. Okay. And they're feeling, they're feeling ashamed. They're, they're embarrassed as to how they acted towards you. Okay. They lied. I feel like they covered the, that up that they could have already been in a previous commitment when you were honest with them. You would have never hurt them. You didn't have any bad intentions. This person, they're putting themselves through it, but that's part of the journey, is to take a good, hard look at yourself and realize what you need to change in order to live a better life. Yeah, like I said, in order to change, in order to live a better life, in order to treat others the way that they should, this person needs to dig deep, and it's, it's literally, it's, uh, this is like, it feels like Dark Night of the Soul. It's really what it feels like, is Dark Night of the Soul. With all the tower moments, um, this uh, regret card here, uh, suffering a loss, and not being able to sleep at night, and having to look at themselves. Yeah, it feels like Dark Night of the Soul. But that's something that you have to go through, right, in this journey. Um... When you have an awakening, you know, and that's what this person is going through right now. Yeah, they could be spending a lot of time at work. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, what I'm really noticing actually is, is this contract. I feel like this person's getting messages like you have a contract. You have a contract with your divine feminine. That was a blessing in love. And we expect you to end this contract the right way. Do you understand? Like, I feel like they're being shown this. They're being shown. And there's things that they have to make up for. Okay? Or, yeah. Or um, at least give you an apology. I feel like... Um, see, this is like new cycle stuff. They will be presented with a new beginning. But they have to, um, they have to respect the contract. They have to respect the contract. Something may need to come to an end in order for this new beginning to come forward too. So something in their, some kind of toxicity in their life has to come to an end. You know, this right here is death and transformation. But they need to do it the right way. They need to respect the contract. Okay. I feel like you also, you're letting this, um, you're letting this kind of die, right? You're, you're letting this uh, connection end, okay, at this cycle, and you're, uh, a new beginning is being ushered in for you. It could even be a lump sum of money coming towards you really fast, or something that's going to get you back on track here in a new cycle. It's going to be um, a happy offer for you for sure. Um, a, a huge blessing. This is the Ace of Pentacles is a huge blessing. Yeah. 
I feel like this person wants to reunite too, and I feel like they also see you as their Ten of Cups, ultimate wish fulfillment. I, 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 I'm kind of getting the sense that they just want to try to transform this from, from something that has died because of their behavior to, to something that's reopened now. I, I feel like this person wants you back. They want, they want a new start with you. They see you as their the, the ch only chance at real happiness and, 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 and uh, emotional fulfillment. And since they're having an awakening, you guys know I'm, I always tell you out here, these cups aren't just filled with love. They're filled with intuition, discernment, Akashic records, um, um, the messages that you get from the divine, uh, the transformation, the spiritual journey, all of the spiritual information that this person is getting, all their spirituality is in these cups. And they know if they get back with you after having this awakening and knowing that you have the answers so that they can learn more about it, if they get back with you, you'll, they'll learn all of this. That I'm just feeling like this person, they want to learn the spiritual aspect of it. That's what they're researching. They're researching it, like on the computer, or doing a lot of watching of tarot readings, okay, maybe on YouTube. But they're picking up, they're picking up on this energy, okay? And I feel like they want to transform this now. But... Um, I'm kind of getting the feeling like it's too late because you're moving forward in star energy. You know, they, they if you're a tarot card reader out there, they could be watching you. You're a healer, an empath. You're very intuitive, very connected. If you're a reader, you're like a beast with this stuff. You're spot on correct with whatever it is that you're saying, okay? So this person could very well be learning from you because you are a guide out here for other people. Healing other people on the same kind of journey, okay? So you're guiding other people, and I feel like they maybe it's you that they're watching or another tarot card reader out here they're getting their messages somehow, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like it's your guidance or somebody's guidance that's really helping this person have this awakening and helping them move forward and do the right thing and realize what it is that they want in life. And, I mean, you know, this person's eyes, it's an eye-opener, okay? Okay. They're getting an eye opener. All right. Um, and they need it because they only have six more days to clear that karma so that they can start a fresh cycle in a spiritual way. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. Give me one more card for the collective. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, then that was on the bottom of the deck. This person's getting ready to communicate. You could be dealing with the Libra, Aries, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, heavy on the Aquarius here. Um, but I feel like this person may need to cut something out. I feel like it could be some kind of toxicity, of course. Um, and they also need to speak their truth. They need to be clear and concise. They need to think about the words that they're saying so that people can fully understand what it is that they're, that they're wanting, what they need to say, right? And they're, they're planning, um, doing a lot of strategic planning on how they're going to communicate. This is somebody extremely smart. Um, this could be like a someone of authority, like a police or um, judge or something like that. But I, I, I really feel like this person, they've got knowledge here. They've gotten clarity here with the sword in their hand. It's like everything. They are getting clarity, okay? Um, I feel like they're going to go through this dark night of the soul here, and they're going to come out knowing what they want and knowing what to do. They just have to think through the communication part of it and what they're going to say. But it may be too late for you guys to accept this soulmate back, okay, like into your life. 
but they are being guided towards you because they have a responsibility to the contract and they need to be able to enter into the the um, Lionsgate portal, not dragging all of the heavy karma from screwing over a divine feminine. Does that make sense? I hope it does because that's what I got, guys. Anyway, um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with